Dear students, let us continue our learning the course Automata Theory and Computability. We are in the fifth session of the module 2. The topics covered under this session are regular and non-regular languages and closure properties of regular languages. Myself, Dr. Suresh Adi from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering from Kendra Engineering College, Bankwald, Mangalore. First, regular and non-regular languages. The first theorem says that there is a countably infinite number of regular languages. So that is, a, we can have a countably infinite number of regular languages. The proof will be done with lexicographically enumerating all the syntactically legal DFSM with input alphabet sigma. Every language is accepted by at least one of them. So, they cannot be more languages than there are DFSMs. That is, for each DFSM, there will be a language. Let us take one simple example, the language ending with the ABB. So, when we are able to write in DFSM for it, then there is an, uh, that will be a regular language which is acceptable by that DFSM. So now for that uh, a, a strings ending with a a b b then there are at most countably infinite number of regular languages that is uh, strings ending with a b b just a b b is also accepted a a b b is also accepted let us take the case of a b b simple one. so this is accepted fine then uh, a a B B accepted because it is ending with A B B. Then next uh, B A B B accepted. If you keep on write like writing like this, there are countably infinite number of regular languages can be made over there. Fine. There is not a one to one relationship between the regular languages and the DFSMs. Since there is an infinite number of machines that can accept any given language, but the number of regular languages is infinite. Let us take the simple example. Strings made up of yes, allowed, allowed, three yes, allowed, four yes, allowed, five yes, allowed, six yes, allowed. That is, we can have an infinite set of these languages. So that's why, as per the theorem proof, there are countably infinite number of regular languages can be present. That will be your first theorem. Then the second one, every finite language is regular. Fine. So now the proof will be done with a simple example. If L is an empty set, then it will be denoted by a regular expression null. You know the difference between a null and a epsilon. If nothing is there, then it is a null. If a string with a length 0 is there, that is your epsilon. Clear? So now that null is also regular. We are able to write in DFSM for it. So how the DFSM will be? Just a start state. No final state worry. This is for the null. This is perfectly valid. This is a perfectly valid. Fine. So now if you continue that way. If it is any finite language composed of the strings S1 and S2 and all for any positive integer, then if we have that uh, union, a finite, then uh, we know that a union of, suppose I have a first S1 is assume A, then the second uh, S2 is, let us assume it is B. This is your uh, FSM for your A, then uh, that is using this one. Then this will be for your B. Now how to have for the union? So that is uh, we can have one more step and we can connect it. On epsilon. So now that the union is also now regular. Right? So that's why 
a very finite language is regular if it is in finite language we are able to write in regular language for right? right? then the next one the intersection of two infinite languages so now uh, that is uh, in sometimes it may be sometimes it may not be in that case let us take the example over here if l1 equal to l equal to l1 intersection l2 wherein l1 will be equal to a power n b power n wherein n greater than or equal to 0 l2 will be equal to b power n a power n n greater than or equal to 0 now can we say that it is regular yes perfectly it is regular let us take the example of epsilon here n when n equal to 0 this is epsilon when n equal to 0 this is epsilon when uh, both are epsilon then the total union that is uh, intersection of them is uh, again epsilon so now for epsilon how we can write the final state machine that is uh, by using that uh, start state itself will be our final state so now this will be for epsilon so now it is a regular now in this case it is a regular fine that is uh, if it is finite then we can write the regular then we can say it as a regular language fine the next one a finite language we may not be able to write down fine let us uh, take the example over here so the string made up of 0 to 1 star star means what a zero or more occurrence where w is a social security number of a living us uh, resident if l is regular because it is fine because similar to that of our other number there we used to have a social security number which is of finite length fine so now when the length is of finite as this statement when the length is finite then we are able to write the dfsm for that fine. it doesn't matter that no individual or organization happens to any happens at any given instant what strings are there in the yet so whenever it is in finite sequence we are able to say that it is regular when the length is finite it is a regular then the next will be the closure properties of regular languages so that is done with the help of the construction over here first one the regular languages are closed under union so this we have already done in your previous classes let us uh, redo it again let me take two machines this is my machine one this is my machine two for the union i need to make union means either this one or this one so how to have it introduce one more start state then connect the first start state of the first machine on the epsilon connect the start state of the second machine on the epsilon now is it regular yes it is a regular over there what are the changes we made we introduce one more start state that is uh, to the states of your old set k1 are the states of m1 k2 are the states of m2 we introduced one more start state called s3 and we made the union sigma remains the same thing delta 3 two more more transitions we are adding what is that one s3 and epsilon s1 s3 and epsilon s2 what are s1 and s2 they are the start state of the mission m1 and the m2 what is s3 newly created start state then what are the accepting states so accepting states of m1 union accepting states of m2 what are the new start state that is your s3 fine that is a union of what two regular languages is always a regular or is always a regular fine let us take the second one concatenation of two regular languages now let m1 be the first language m2 be the second language how do you have the concatenation of them accepting states of the first language or can a first mission are connected to the start state of the second mission on epsilon now these are no longer final states what are the final states only these are the final states only these are the final states over there now what are the changes we made uh, to the states we have not added any states just the union of machine 1 and the machine 2 sigma remains the same thing delta 3 we have altered what we have altered uh, the accepting states of the state 1 that is a q belongs to a1 on epsilon it will go to the s2 what is s2 starting state of the machine 2 starting state of the machine 2 now what are the new start state now these are no longer the start state so now only the s1 is our start state what are our accepting states these are the accepting states these are no longer the accepting states fine so that is the if we have the two regular languages and if we make the concatenation of them then the yielded result is also regular
Fine. Let us take the next example. That is your clean star. So now the star operation. This we have. What is the star means? A star means a zero or more occurrence. Fine. Now this one we have done already. The same repetition again. Now how we will do? We create one more star state and we make that state as our final state. One of the final state. Then on epsilon we will connect to your previous start state. Next the accepting state of the mission one are connected to the starting state of the mission, so that it can have the repetition of any number of times. Fine. So now the same thing can be represented over the new state added. Yes, two is a new state added. Sigma remains the same thing. Delta two the new transitions we are added. What is that one? Yes, two on epsilon will go to the yes one. Then next one from the accepting states of yes one. Accepting states of uh, your uh, first state mission, we will connect to your uh, starting state over there. Then what is the final st starting state is your S2. What will be our uh, uh, final states? That is even S2 will also belongs to the final state over there. So this will be regarding your clean star. Okay. Then the next one, complement. Fine. The regular languages are closed under complement. Fine. So now let us. Uh, Take the example strings ending with a b b. Ending with a b b. Does it is regular? Yes. We are able to write the final state machine for it, so it is regular. Fine. So now how to do that one? Uh, first will be. Uh, let me take the one more page over here. So now strings ending with a b b. Fine. So now this is for your uh, a. I will go here. Then next B. I will go here. Then next B. I will go here. This is my accepting states. In the beginning, if I get the B, I will be staying there only. If I get the A here, I will stay here only so that I get A B B. If I get the A, I will go back here. If I get the A, I will go here. If I get the B, I will go here. So now this is my final state machine. Fine. So now this is my accepting state. Now this is for strings ending with a b b. Strings ending with a b b. How to make the complement of it? So complement is quite simple. How to do that one? Now this is no longer your final state. This is a no longer your final state. So now what will be our final state now? The final state will be the other than the previous final states will be the final states. Now, when it doesn't have ending with a b b, it will be get accepted. This is how the complement can be done. This is how the complement can be done. Fine. So now, what are the changes we made to the complement? All the things remain same. What is that one? Only the changes in the accepting state. Now, leaving the previous a, rest of the states are final states. Rest of the five states are the final states. Fine. So that is uh, the complement. The regular languages are closed under the complement. Complement of the regular language is again a regular language. So now this is for your deterministic case. For a non-deterministic case, we can convert to your deterministic by using the methods what we have discussed in the module one, and we can uh, make the complement of them. Even that is a uh, allowed. Fine. Then the next one. The regular languages are closed under intersection. If you have the two language over here, language accepted by M1 intersection M2. So this A intersection B, as per our mathematical logic, this can be written as A complement union B complement whole complement. Fine. The same logic if we apply over here to have the union. So first we need to make the A complement. A complement is closed for the regular language. It is perfectly valid. B complement perfectly valid. Union of them perfectly valid. We have proved that the union of two regular language is again regular. And the whole complement again it is perfectly valid. That is a in the, that is a. The complement of a regular language is always a regular. So, if the right side is a regular, then obviously the intersection, the left side is a regular. Fine. That is the proof to prove that the given language 
M1 and M2 are closed under the intersection. Now the difference. L of M1 minus M2. That is a set A minus a set B. So this can be written as a A A intersection with the complement of B. What is by A minus B? The elements of A which are not in B. The elements of A which are not in B. So now what we will do? We will make the complement of B. Means we will take all the elements leaving B. Now we make the intersection with A. So now it will take the common elements over there which are not in the B. So now that will be the formula for A minus B. The same formula we are applying over here. L of M1 minus L of M2 equal to L of M1 intersection complement of L of M2. Now in the previous uh, slide we showed that the regular languages are closed under the intersection. So the regular languages are closed under your difference also. Are closed under the difference also. That is your set difference. Right? Then the next will be your reverse. The regular languages are closed under the reverse. Right? The regular languages, the direction of the regular languages you can invert so that the reverse of the regular language is also reverse. Right? The next one, letter substitution. If I have written the regular language for the strings ending with A, B, B. Now A I will replace with a 0, B I will replace with a 1. Fine. So now what it is are strings ending with a 0, 1, 1. Does it is valid? Yes, it is perfectly valid. That is a letter substitution is a closed for your regular languages. If you take the example over here, a power n, b power n. Here it is a power n, 0 power n, 1 power 2 n. That is a is replaced with a 0, b is replaced with a 1, 1, double. This is a perfectly allowed. The references for this presentation are from the textbook Alan Ridge, Automata, Computability and Complexity, First Edition, Pearson Education.